the eighth and pre Macclesfield at home. Mark, the thing that's happened since last Saturday, Andy Gallagher's red card's been rescinded. Um, how important is that? Obviously, it's scant consolation, but yeah. good going forward. Yeah, it's it's, it's it, the right decision was eventually made. You know, it's uh, it cost us on Saturday, um, so we feel justified in making the appeal. But you know, it doesn't help us out on on the Burton result. But it's good to have him. You know, particularly with Macclesfield coming up. You know, we, that we know we've got to compete here. Really, we've got to be strong, and that's certainly what Gallas can do for us. And I suppose he is that sort of competitor, isn't he? That you know, he, he's one of those you, you'd want in there with the trench in the trenches. Yeah, with you. yeah, exactly. So. You know, it's it's good to have another body, um, and it's good to have make sure that Gallas is available. Yeah. Macclesfield only a point behind you in the table. Does that give you all the motivation you need? Yeah, it should do. Every, you know, absolutely. You know, they're a big, strong, physical side who we play to their strengths. They've got some good players as well. You know, they get labelled a long ball team, but they've got good players who can who've got quality as well. So we we know we're in for a tough game, but you know, we got to back to doing what we do best and. Make sure we're competitive enough. Make sure we're we're hard working and, and and try and play our football. Four games to go. What is the target? Twelve for you points. The... So it has to be twelve points. You know, we've we're all a little bit disappointed the way our form has, has, has tailed off. But um, we can go somewhere to put in that right by by winning the next four matches. And um, you know, as we stand now, that's that's our aim. We've got four tough matches, like like every game in this division is. Um, and we want to finish the season as well as we can and with as many points as we can. You've got a seven point cushion above the bottom two. Is there a little bit of you that's looking over your shoulder? I know you're, you're a positive one and you don't want to look ahead. I'm not stupid enough to think, well, you know, we're out of it, but we've got to just, we've got, it's in our hands. And, and, you know, this time last year it wasn't necessarily that case. So there's no point being negative for these boys. Um, we'll work, we'll work, and we'll just get them to to go out and make sure we try and win on Saturday and then take it through to, to Monday. I mean, you mentioned last year that you are better off than you are last year, aren't you? It's just that you know, the form since Christmas yeah, has absolutely. been disappointing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, the club's better off in, in, as a whole. You know, We're in a better state financially. We're in a better state with the squad of players that we've got, numbers that we've got in terms of who we've got for next season. And we can, and we can build on it. But first of all, got to put this season to bed by by winning as many points as we can in the next four games. And how important is it to end this season on a high and give you some yeah, momentum for vital, next? Vital, vital. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't give you necessarily give you the momentum for next, but it can it can get people back on side. And um, you know, I understand supporters are frustrated, but there's nobody more frustrated than than me and the group of players. You know, we've got lessons to learn, um, but first and foremost, a good three points on Saturday would be would be tremendous. Do you have to take these two games as a pair because they come so close together? Yeah, you do, um, but only after the game. You know, we'll, we'll pick a team to try and get three points on Saturday, and then we'll see what we've got Sunday and after the game Saturday night, and and, and assess anything that we've picked up and and go again. You know, it can. It's a tough ask Saturday, Saturday Monday for anybody, um, especially when the heat that's supposed to be around you know, should be. Um, but you know, they're fit enough and they're strong enough, and, uh, and we'll be okay. Injuries, how's the squad? Uh, Keith, Jeff not won't be available. Um, Josh Lowe should be trained on Monday, on Tuesday. Hopefully he'll step that up again today. JJ should should be somewhere nearer um, being pain free and, and able to train. So you know, not not too bad. And just how important is it to have someone with Josh's experience and quality? Yeah, though? he's a big player for us, Josh, and he's a big player for us when when we haven't got him. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's one of our older heads, one of our more experienced players, and as you say, he's a big miss when he's not playing. Thank you, good luck. Thank you. He, Josh was uh, outstanding up there, wasn't he? And that was probably, do you think that was one yeah, of the best performances of the season? Yeah, I think it was one of our best performances. You know, we, we, we played really well, we knew we had to compete, we knew we had to do the ugly stuff, and we did it. We did it very well. Um, played some really good football, scored a couple, and could have scored a couple more as well. So, listen, we. The lads know what's what's happening. The lads know what Macclesfield are about and what you've got to do. If you don't do it, you get you get punished. Um, and um, I, I want the same again. You know, we've we've got the players to to go out there and play, and we've just got to free them, make them work hard, but free them up and go and play as well. Yeah, if you, I mean, those those performances like Macclesfield away, you know, makes you wonder why 
things have tailed off so badly, doesn't it? I mean, is it, have you still got faith that those players can get back to that sort of standard and the performance in those games? Yeah, I mean, and we've got four games to, to get it right and, and Saturday's the one, really. We want to put right first because after that we can we can build on, on our performance from, from the game. Um, I think what the you know the performance earlier in the season showed me are that we have got good enough players. We've just got to get we've got to tinker with one or two things next season. We've got to, like I said before, we've got to finish this season properly. Um, but there's lessons to be learned for all of us, you know, on the playing side, on the, on the numbers, you know, in terms of numbers, in terms of what we get, what quality we can get, and we've we've got to make sure that we've got a couple more bodies next season. I think that's been a, a factor in, in terms of. You know, numbers. I think you know players like Danny Andrew, um, other players who've played, Jeff Goulding, who've played 30, 35, 40 games, and it's their first time they've ever done it. I think it's been a big ask for one or two, um, but I think they'll be a damn sight better next year as well. It's difficult not to feel sorry for Matt Green because he's he's had some good performances. He just can't sort of yeah. see any luck in front of goal. No, he hasn't. I, you know, I read something from a supporter the other day saying that. That he'd had a poor game at, at Burton. I, I didn't see that. You know, I thought he was excellent. His work rate was there. He was really unlucky with a couple of efforts in the first three or four minutes. Um, he needs one to go on off his backside. And if I think if it would have happened earlier for him, then I think he'd have got a few goals. Um, but you know, he's come in. He's on loan. He puts as much effort in as anybody else. You know, he works tirelessly. And um, you know, I just want to thank him for what he's. You know, the effort that he puts in and, and I hope that he gets a break and a, and a goal goes in off his backside and, and he gets on a little bit of a run between now and the end of the season because he's, he's more than capable. Yeah, you're going to stick with him? Stick well, with he, the, he's, you know, we haven't got a great deal of options with Jeff being out and, um, well, well, you know, he's, he's, for me, he puts the effort in, he puts a sh good shift in for us and with a little bit of luck he'll, he'll get that goal. Yeah, I know you put pressure on yourself all the time but are you feeling a bit of pressure now because of the recent results and the home game coming up against the team that are near you in the table I don't feel I don't, I'm not under, I don't feel under pressure John. I, 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 any more than I did when we were we were doing well because I want us to be as good as we can be you know that I've, I've you know I've spoke to the chairman I've spoke to you know a number of the, the my board and that, they've, they've been brilliant with, with me brilliant with with us um, they're all as disappointed as, as I am as, as Neil is as Wes and Bucky are in terms of how we've how we've tailed off but but they're they're fully behind us. They they know how tough it is, and you know everyone's doing everything they can to make sure that we we learn we not learn from not not even mistakes, but learn from what we've not had, what we've not done, and and, and try and address that for next season. That doesn't mean we're going to get you know bundles or more on the budget to to go and do this and that. But we know we need to improve. There's been a steady improvement. I I feel in in terms of the players. I just, at the minute, we've got probably one or two, two few players, and, and that's been probably the story of the squad of the season. Um, and I think it's just caught up with one or two. But the, no, the, I'm under pressure, put myself under pressure to try and win games and get the best out of the team that I've got out there, you know. But we've got some good players here, and we've got some, we've got a good spirit, and we'll have an even better spirit and an even better squad next season. Yeah, quite a few lads are already tied down for next year. Are you getting any closer to maybe signing any, any more? Uh, we've, we're speaking to one or two, but I, th but I think we're just gonna, we're, we're just it'll all happen over the next couple of weeks, you know. Um, I'm, you know, we're doing every, we've, you know, we've constantly made every effort to keep Wes, um, and it's just I, I think he wants to keep his op keep his options open, which he's he's fully entitled to. But you know, the club has made every effort to. I will stress that that the club have made every effort to to make sure he, he tries to sign. Um, but that's his prerogative not to, you, you know, his prerogative to to, to look elsewhere, um, and 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 obviously, you know, Marlon as well. We've we've I've been speaking to Marlon over the last couple of weeks. Um, he's just changed his representative, so hopefully we can we can try and do something. We want to keep our our, our better players, our best players, and um, you know, this time last year we, we got one player signed up. Now we've got 11, 12, and, and that's what I said about being in a in a stronger position. You know, they're good players. You're not going to get every one of them right every time. I, 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 you know, I admit that. But they've they've all put a good shift in. They've all done okay this season. Some 
some better than others and that's that's how it works you're not going to get every single one 100 percent right but they've all they've all had their their moments this season and i've been you know pleased with with, with all of them really and i just want to i want them to go and finish the season properly um and then it's a case of then seeing what we've got seeing what we need and and trying to we, you know we might have to bring in a, only six where we had to bring in a whole squad last season yeah would you be surprised if Wales went to Scotland? Yeah, we had this conversation yesterday. Um, it doesn't. Listen, nothing would surprise me in football, but but I, I don't know where that's come from. You know, um, it doesn't sit true with what with what Wes and his agent have been telling me all season. And I, I, to be honest, I, I, I believe Wes. Right. Cheers, Mark. All right.